Hey there guys, I'm glad to welcome you back once again to my channel here today for my second foray into the folkies, so to speak. What I mean by that, of course, is if I did this the right way, the last video you will have seen before this one was on Swedish folk troubadour, the tallest man on earth. With that in mind, we'll head across the water and more than a little bit south to the Emerald Isle once again to talk about a familiar face that's, well, not entirely unfamiliar on this Vinyl Corner segment. That artist is, of course, Irishman Fionn Reagan, and as sort of a follow-up to my early part of the year video that covered the end of history, this one is on his exceptionally striking 2011 record, 100 Acres of Sycamore. Now, this isn't technically a follow-up, given the 2010 Shadow of an Empire came in between, but it truly feels like the sister to history, and it's more proper, well-developed successor. So, without further ado, once again, let us swim into the miasma of review territory with Fionn Reagan and 100 Acres of Sycamore. Enjoy. So to briefly bring any of you up to speed who may not know exactly who Fionn Reagan is or who didn't see my video on him earlier in the year, well, here we go. For one, Reagan hails from Bray in the county Wicklow of Ireland, and in his eight years as a musician, he's released five EPs as well as three full-length efforts as I stated previously. The End of History has largely been his most successful release, garnering both awards and accolades in both the UK and the United States, and it's done wonders for lifting his star, so to speak. And while Shadow of an Empire represented a musical left turn of sorts for Reagan, he has returned in fine fashion this year with 100 Acres of Sycamore, a deeply stirring and rootsy collection of more cleverly crafted folk from this brilliant musician. So, without further ado, let us toss aside the biography and backstories and get straight into the meat of exactly why we're here. Here are my thoughts as well as a review of 100 Acres of Sycamore. We'll go knuckle to knuckle and buckle against buckle. Your nostrils will flare as you push out the air. Rise up, brother. Rise up from the trappings of flesh and the holdings of skin. We'll steer the for starters, Fionn Reagan truly is becoming the master of the textural folk landscape. Where the tallest man on earth was all about being stripped down and simple in my last video there, 100 Acres of Sycamore is a full-on lush affair that is resplendent with strings and instrumentation that is truly honey upon the eardrums. The simple stuff that made Reagan smash the end of history so good resides in there as well, of course, but the balance is brilliantly constructed. One moment you find yourself delighting in the orchestral string plucks of the title track, then a bit later down the road it's difficult not to get sucked into the hushed plaintiveness of first day of May. It's a moment that feels as though Reagan himself is singing straight into your ear from beneath the bedsheets, and that intimacy is felt strongly all throughout the course of this album, whether it's the still of May or even the slightly impaired dirge that is Vodka Sorrow. Spit on your hand and leave me inside Through the caves of your fingers and into the tide Sal, Mayor, Bitch, Vixen as always, folk music is Reagan's first and foremost port of call, and his sharp, clear vocals once again deliver the same prolific lyricisms that we've come to expect from him after the course of three albums. 100 Acres of Sycamore often embodies a mellow haze that might not ordinarily work to the benefit of every artist, but it allows him to enrapture the listener and focus more on words than fighting with overwhelming instrumentation. While perhaps that lyrical output isn't quite as sharply tinged as some of the things off the end of history, like Put a Penny in the Slot, for instance, 100 Acres of Sycamore merely feels as though it's in a different headspace by comparison. Something darker, woodsy, and more dirge-like that reflects its title quite accurately, in my opinion, and ultimately it just does more to establish Fionn Reagan as the talent he truly is. My favorite songs are the aforementioned Vodka Sorrow, First Day of May, and 100 Acres of Sycamore, as well as the sprightly North Star Lover and the elegantly sculpted The Lake District. Fionn Reagan has done a fine job once again, and in my opinion, he's one of the most gifted dark horse talents that Ireland has to offer. I know a lot of people admire Damien Rice, as well they should, of course, but... Reagan is right there with him. All in all, I give 100 Acres of Sycamore an 8.5 out of 10. It's a smooth, mellow listen that benefits from taking it in far away from the crowd and the hustle and bustle of the world. It's a record befitting late summer afternoons in a cabin by the lake, or quiet nights with only the blanket pattern of the stars to guide your thoughts. I could not recommend it more highly. 
As for the vinyl itself, as with the tallest man on earth the last time around, we have a pretty simple one here, but not one that's without its merits. I mean, for one, this artwork is very, very cool to me, very interesting, some sort of cross between uh, a face, obviously, and some sort of um, maze, I don't know, some sort of corn maze or something. I'm not sure exactly what's going on in here, but um, it paints a very interesting picture, quite literally in some sense, and um, I quite like that. And on the back here, we have a neat uh, uh, listing of the song titles, all like, uh, looks like they're written in chalk. So the artwork is very neat. Um, the um, scripting is actually sort of the same as uh, the scripting that uh, was used for the end of history. Um, a little bit different than the end of history, because um, with that one, um, that was actually a gatefold where this is not. And um, they were actually on 10-inch uh, vinyls, which I've only run across a few times so far, and I'll be collecting. I've sort of done pretty much this year, let's be honest. Um, but this is a really cool uh, one all the same. Uh, obviously not too interesting in the sense it doesn't have a gatefold, and, you know, these single folds are only so durable, as I said in my last video. But, um, like I said, artsy, which is neat. Uh, we have the same kind of scripting here on the uh, record itself with each side. Same, similar scripting there. And um, inside, we have a pretty nice cut here. A little more, I would say almost a little more solid than the Tallest Man on Earth cut. But either way, uh, well done on the part of um, Heavenly Recordings, which is uh, his UK label. And um, I actually ordered this from the UK uh, early because, if I'm not mistaken, it didn't come digitally until later on. And um, because I am a really, really, really big fan of Fionn's, um, I really wanted to... Um, I really wanted to have this. So I ordered it, and it, it so far has um, really paid off brilliantly. And like I said in the review back there, of course, I would recommend it highly. And um, while there isn't much to report on the vinyl, um, the artwork still makes it cool, and it's a fine addition to my collection. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so thank you once again, you guys. This is pretty much uh, the end of this particular review. Um, I'm going to keep recording and uh, editing and seeing how much I can put up as we get closer and closer to the uh, the big Christmas day, as it is about 8.41 right about now. Um, I'm going to throw as much as I can for all of you not to see because you're with your uh, wonderful, loving families at wonderful gatherings all across these United States. But that is beside the point. Um, I hope you enjoyed my review here of 100 Acres of Sycamore. I was very proud to finally bring it to you after an August release in which I should have had it done much sooner. But keep your music flowing, your vinyl spinning, keep clicking over there to the right because there's going to be more videos, and I will see you all very, very soon. How can you hear the door on 100 Acres of Sycamore? Oh, flash my hand past your eyes.